currently we're losing about over 2,500 doctors a year. Our schools produce about 3,000. We're losing about 2,500. But we need over 10,000 to produce over 10,000 and not lose any if we're ever going to get into sufficiency. Considering the population of Nigeria and the number of cardiac cases we have in the country. In fact, cardiac cases is about the fourth and fifth causes of death in Nigeria at the moment. We have been looking for the funding to be able to build a first class, first class center, and we couldn't. Rich Nigerians are more interested in catching their private jet and going out than in helping to solve things here. But I'm a big bagada. When she was this one discovered we only hole in the arts. Doctor Joe put me through we only be a long life she only ah but my lower be be six to seven million. When you put very plumber and me you bar is a one million even with the best sister we joy help me. There is no real social safety net for people when they need health care. And our clinics were getting so full with people almost um, stepping on each other. We've normalized living in a country where you don't have access to health care when you need it. Being someone that could have traveled overseas to get treatment, people would say, ah, Shita, you should go to America. You should do this, you could do At least you can do it. I said, OK. But the problem is when somebody has a stroke, <laughs> you can be carrying him all over the place more problems can happen during transportation. That's why I said, I've never seen a Nigerian financial institution react so positively, so fast, so quickly, and with results that we can see today. Tri-State has been in Nigeria for a few years. They didn't have their own center, so they, they were going around specific centers doing the, their surgeries. And when we found out, we thought we could get them to concentrate, build up somewhere, a solid cardiology center. We thought we needed them to stop dissipating energy around and build something, something that would grow into a teaching hospital, a cardiology teaching hospital. Um, that was actually when we started thinking about this. Um, we had a series of meetings with Professor Adeleke, who has always dreamed to plant this, his skill set in Nigeria and to provide this kind of service in a very structured form in Nigeria. I left Nigeria at a very tender age, just after high school, to go to the United States of America. And that is where I went to school and then became a very successful cardiologist. I was the first black cardiologist, you know, for probably close to about 15, 20 years. And then I became the director of the cardiac catheterization laboratory and then the chairman of the Department of Cardiology. The name of Tri-State actually came from America because I lived in Delaware, that is where I practiced, and I went to school in Philadelphia, and it's a New Jersey area. That's how you call Tri-State area. When I first started to come to Nigeria, I was involved with the missions, doing cardiac missions in Nigeria. So um, we come with um, some of our overseas colleagues to different parts of the country and then the problems we are facing there was enormous getting everything together the whole team the equipment the power source the products everything was so different we then moved to um, some government hospital and then the problem continued we were not able to be doing cardiac surgery as often as expected. It is quite very interesting that coming to Nigeria, we started this open heart surgery at UCH, in a whereby we knew that 
there have to be statistics. So I call Professor Alonge, and if you look at the picture behind you there, that was the first surgical program or procedure that we did at UCH. And at that UCH, during that time, I just told them, I said, listen, get me 10 random patients that have some kind of issue. Either they can't breathe, they're having chest pain, because nobody really know the degree of the heart disease that we have. So, and out of those, we did the procedure called heart catheterization. Eight out of 10 had heart disease that we had to fix. So, and that is the beginning. And that is when I knew that I had to move back to Nigeria. So we started Tri-State in Nigeria. Eight months out of a year, we were unable to operate. People going on strike today, another group going on strike tomorrow, and it was very tough. You ideate something, you put funds behind it, even though there are risk that you had to take, but you now start seeing lives saved. You now start seeing babies, adults saved just because of that investment. In December of 2014, um, I usually check my sugar at home and I realized that it was high. So I spoke with a doctor friend that referred me to a hospital in Lekki One Hill. Two days into staying there, at the time they came in the room, I was on the floor, foaming at mouth, carbon monoxide poisoning from their generator. By the 12th day, I had a big one where blood vessel busted in my brain and I bled into my eyes. This was a journey of uh, four months. I was in the hospital again. In the process, I went back to my people at Babcock University. I went to school there when it was a seminary and I got in touch with Professor Mark and Dee, and one thing led to the other and he gave back to Tri-State in Lekki. We were in different places outside of Lagos before the Sterling um, partnership. I would say one um, big advantage of that has been our location. We're able to practice um, um, in a location that is um, that can be identified with us as the Tri-State um, Heart and Vascular Centre here in, in Lekki. I would say the intervention of um, Stalin has improved our, I would say, our outreach. We are also able to have a bigger building to operate on. All our equipment, the engineers, all the things we need for the successful operation of the cardiac program now open up with the support of Stalin in Lagos. I did not really have the confidence that public institutions had the wherewithal to be able to carry this into the future. And so when he called me up and said, look here, these people are frustrating me. Everything, they are on strike. I have to wheel the patient up to the eighth floor or to whatever floor myself and the cleaners are on strike or this person is on strike. And there were, there were times where he literally had to wheel patients all into the elevator by himself because somebody is, I mean, and they just said, right now, I think I'm giving up. I'm going back. And they just said, no, you can't go back. Well, can you open something for me at Babcock? I said, sure. The people at Stalin Band, starting from their the MD, Abu Bakar Suleiman, who believe that the healthcare tourism should be reversed. Before Tri-State came into Nigeria, um, Nigeria was in the, we don't, we were in the highest um, open heart surgery center in West Africa. Since Tri-State came in and we made our investment, uh, we do the largest number of open heart surgeries in West Africa. And that's thanks to uh, uh, Tri-State. After the bed, um, along the line, we are told to do a series of tests. So in the course of doing the test and scanning, we got to know that um, she has her own in the heart. That night, I got back, I think around 10 or thereabouts from work. Just getting inside, for me to just 
put down my shirt and sat. She just discovered that the baby just stopped taking the food. When we studying, I discovered that the skin color started changing to white, turning to started calling the baby's name. She's not responding. All of a sudden, the eyes was going off, closing. I just picked my key, drove out. I remember I was driving like a madman. I didn't even care what would happen. I called to the first hospital. The man said they can't attend to us. From getting to the hospital, the doctor just said they can't attend to this baby. Somebody now told us that we should come straight to Tri-State Hospital. So I'm getting to Tri-State, I was just looking at it that no signage, no name outside. Could this be an hospital? I just came in with faith. You understand? What I can tell you on that spot, something happened with Demi. You know what happened with Demi? At the reception down, I met some men there and we started interacting, asking them the reason why they are there. So in the course of discussion, I get to know that some of them were there purposely for the same reason or some of them actually have done their own surgery and it was successful. They are bringing their baby for the follow-up. So I started asking them their experience, you understand? Some of them showed me the picture prior to the uh, surgery and I saw it, I said, it means the same person. So I started getting some confidence and they told us something that, that actually made my mind to be at rest. You know, the explanation of what was actually going was given to us addictives. And we are given a drug and I can tell you since that time they have given us a drug. And it makes the baby more stable. Unlike before that, every now and then we need to keep our eyes open. Yes, and but now we can sleep. And we had the surgery, and in the course of the surgery, there were times that we have some kind of turbulence. But I can tell you, the doctor did their best, and that was why we were able to record the sources. And now the baby's fine. And I can imagine when they brought the baby out, and the first time I seen my baby smiling was after the surgery. She had never for one smile. It was after the surgery I saw so many. I was so glad and I was so happy. Nigbati o wa ni kekere ari eni sign kokon. Nkan ta kan ri pe to ba sherin die ta ba lo ti church o ma no re ohun to ba ni die. Ah to ba se ni tin a no re ohun to ba to ba fun ni ohun school a no re ohun. To ba se lowo o ma no re ohun. Ah kilo sele. Nigba to de di 2020 o fin ti parawata ibe lati gbe lo prophet of Jesus o so tu ta ya nlo. Nigba ta gbe debe awon yen go won di won ko se si. Oni ka kuro nbe ni pe oni ka ma lo pe ba je kin kan wo so ni a o se se di ale ana pe ko se won ko to se. O kon fe ji no be to ni osu bola tori po ibe lati gbe lati hospital yen lati private hospital tun won se yan kan si ibe lati gbe lo si anoda hospital ni eh ile epo o di bo 2020 ti corona wa so won ni we are only attending for emergency won je won se attend so da da dara ta tun ma gbe kuro nbe won wa fun ani test kan pe ka lo run test kan wa eco test gba ta wa lo se yen gba gada na tin ni ka lo se test yen wa gba ta ma di gba gada won se wa this to discover pe only hole in the heart Doctor, I just put me through. Well, only be the land of fishy. Only ah, but the Malawi be be six to seven million. That fishy, that was 2020. When you put me through, very plumb and me me oba, it share one million. But me through 20 six million. It be me through best sister. That is why me best sister. Paris was on customer military team. Mumbai check me. I just help me on. To do my thing. To buy drove by. To buy calling the drove for it. To buy some buy one massage for me. One mami le le buy. To buy one. Odu ma libe to je mu botani. Would you have a pump? I'm a massage for nobody to bamb on to push your bike. Oh, my food by me. Oh, my caco, Tabico, no Tabico, no show. I was sent down in here, but we're going to buy do do and never buy you do do or do do call any. When you have an emergency, you need to be treated immediately, urgently, by a competent, by a competent person. And Professor Kamal is as good as any doctor you'll find anywhere in the world, even better. I found out about healthcare system in Nigeria. That year, they said the average life expectancy in Nigeria had gone down to 46. And I couldn't believe it, 46. What could be causing the Nigerian life expectancy to go down? Started researching on it. It turned out that there's something we call communicable diseases. Those are things like malaria, you know, diarrhea. And there's something they call non-communicable diseases. The non-communicable diseases are like diabetes, heart attack, stroke, cancer. And I found out 
that the number one cause of death among the middle class and the upper class in Nigeria is number one, heart disease, number two, stroke, and number three, a cancer. So when I went back to the United States, knowing that my area of expertise is the heart and the stroke, I just couldn't help myself. And that was the beginning of my transition back to Nigeria. I think Nigeria's healthcare system does not exist. Healthcare worker to citizen uh, ratio is so poor. Not just doctors to citizen, the healthcare workers to citizen. In the course of Tri-State moving in into this hospital, my sister-in-law got sick. She was at uh, General Hospital. Somehow they said it was a heart. So I came here and ordered them to bring her here. They brought her. They went in her heart. There was nothing wrong <laughs> with her heart. So she was misdiagnosed. Finally, the doc said the woman had cancer, but they were saying it was heart problem. So that's one thing right there. Proper diagnosis. It's, it's, it's a lot of uh, improper things going on out there. They just diagnose people without uh, 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 proper investigation. But that, with that, I mean, I'm, I'm with the level of personnel that we have here, I'm sure that that is in order. They'll be able to tell you what is wrong with you. They took care of her very well. The woman was happy, even though she passed away later from the cancer. But when she got here, she was very, very happy. Yes. And, um, you know, I just told you about my experience. I had stroke. I never went to another country for stroke treatment. All the treatment that I had was here. Yeah, and I'm fine. Because most times, most of the patients just need you to reassure them, talk to them. Everybody's smiling and all happy and all that. With the Sterling uh, partnership, it has been an upgrade because we try to stay. We've got the numbers initially because we can't partner with what you don't trust. Yeah, so we've got the numbers, we've got our success rate. So that was why Sterling was able to partner with us. And ever since Sterling came into the play, we've been doing well. But I did try stage and try stage or switch you and be. Oh, yeah, Mileno. But I try like you are way a job. Bleed on Billy Tompua. I try like you are way a job. Image of Molly Shambi, but Fun Yaleno. Ah, won't be, won't be a Jew. All over the room, all over the team, all in the try stage in B. I need like my travel. I want a dear, I need like the travel. That means she will like my travel lounge. No, my she open latch surgery. I need like the travel more because the cotton shambi. Oh, yeah, Mileno. Titi come on the latter year and clean our go. Well clean, all them are attend this in that. Nobody don't share operation on my mitten. Talk below the ICU. Only be a lot more respond. Control of she go on to one phone down the leg or don't you have a sorrow or to no quicker my jaya come and share any chill. We are more my response to better jockey, 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 or my response. But I might be debate. Oh, mommy go and go to feel a sodo, I got to be war chatter and go to feel a sodo in Biria. We don't get on feel a land on that. Where's my gala? Where's my one? What was surprised? Don't you respond to your kid? What a ship. Good, perfect work. Our doctor was so humble, all of them. But we want to teach her to die. He got a one baby, Obini, Obini by near the body by ye, Omo may be your money. Omo will be your money. Teach you come on, no, she won't. They do a very good job. You know me do. I know what you walk here. A rich you, the shetele. Omo, you rich you, the shetele. Umber, the initiate, I'm not sure, because you're going to see the This thing, this is only the children, the other tele, or the other. And that's one good thing about Tri State. We don't give up. Here yeah, we don't give up on patients. We go out all our own lanes, you know, to make sure that you know the patients are fine. So because of that spirit, you know, uh, we put in our best. We don't give up on each other. When something like this is happening here, we just need to embrace it. Not only embrace it, the government needs to come in and know that this can be actually be a tourist center. That means it can bring other people around to know that something great is happening in this country. The standing bank resolution that Nigeria must work, I think I've seen it here, you know. That's one thing I'm quite proud of. The accessibility to care is now easy for patients, for our clients to assess. And then at the same time too, uh, they don't have to go far distances. And then we've been able to cough the medical tourism that uh, Nigeria has been challenged with over the years. So I would say, there's been an awesome collaboration with Standing Bank. Today, we have the capacity to do whatever 
heart operation, open heart operation that we want to do in Nigeria. Thanks to Tri-State and the team and a lot of the doctors, cardiologists working to make this happen.